Ah, hey everybody, it's Dan. How y'all doing out there in cyberspace land? Yeah, slow start to the stream. That's because I accidentally left the desktop audio muted while going to the bathroom. 
So it's going to be a fun wow. one. This one. Yeah, I I totally messed it up. So. <laughs> so We're yeah. like, why is it so silent? <laughs> yeah, why is it why why is it so quiet? And, oh shoot! Actually, music isn't playing because I have the audio muted. It's going. It's going to go well. This one. <laughs> so. Yeah. Hi guys. Hope you had a great weekend. By the way. Um, Your mic sounds a little crackly. It does. It, maybe that maybe, maybe that's does. maybe that's just through Discord. Maybe. You does let it, us know how it is. Yeah, do let us know on the stream if there are any audio problems. Um And we'll try and get that sorted out as soon as we can. Maybe it's just a Discord thing, maybe I just need to disconnect and reconnect. I don't know. If it's okay on stream I'll try that, but Yeah. So um it is a bit crackly. Oh boy. Um actually that might be my fan. Hang on. Uh, how about now? I mean, it sounds good to me right now. Okay. I think it's fine now. All right. I I have to have my fan on because it you don't hot. Want to melt. It hot. Well, not hot. It humid here, so I have to have it, it on. Grows. Otherwise, yeah. Otherwise, I'm a sweaty, awful mess. Um. So yeah. So, yeah, it's time for more blackout stuff. So, I will give you guys a little sneak peek at what I've been working on over the last week or so. Last week's been a bit busy because of all the Forsaken stuff that's gone on. Uh, Forsaken Remastered, out now on Steam, GOD, and Xbox One. Pick it up if you haven't already. <laughs> and um, please do. Uh, it's great. Everybody who reviews it says, yeah, this game's great. Now, Dave have done a good job, and we have done a good job, in my opinion. Yeah. Um, We'll do more multiplayer sessions with people in the future because that's been a lot of fun. Mm-hmm. Uh, guessing you're in the UK. Yeah. Yes, I am in the UK, yes. My accent might give it away. Yeah, fan uh -huh. over the shoulder. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's currently... Just go check the weather real quick, actually. It is currently... Oh, boy. 83% humid. It's currently... Oh, my goodness. It's, like, 10 in the evening and it's 18 degrees. I can't For even... For me, right now, <laughs> it's 103 out. Oh. And the humidity is not too bad today, actually. Mm. The humidity is only at 22%. Yeah. but It's more of a dry day today. Yeah, but I guess we don't really need to talk about the weather. Because you guys probably all know about it. We talk about it every about time. It. I know <laughs> we do. It's a fun thing to talk about. But you guys already know what the weather's like. But, uh, yeah, it's hot. And if but you yeah. don't know what your weather's like, go outside and see. Yeah, go outside. It's it's that big uh, room with a very, very, Biggest very room. high ceiling. Mm -hmm. It's that room outside. So, yeah, I'm just going to give you a little bit of a rundown of what I've been working on uh, over the last week or so that I've had time to actually work on the project. Um, lots and lots and lots and lots of annotations and notes. That's because we need those so that the uh, the developers, the, the art team can kind of go in and say, oh, this goes here and that goes there and this goes there because we'll be placing the items soon. So that's going to be exciting stuff. Um, this area, all finished. Um, one area I did leave off uh, last time, I think, on the stream was um, this area. This area is where all the corpses are and things. This this area is now ceilinged and all the annotations are in. This area wasn't ceilinged before. It is now. It's all 100% accurate. Um, barring what I could kind of get away with. Um, some of the level design here just didn't make much sense, and it was making it making things needlessly complicated. So I've simplified things a little bit. Um, and then there's this area here, the big um, beta area, where um, I just made that full screen. Um, the, yeah, the big beta area where um, you know there's the radioactive trench and there are mutants roaming around in this area. So you might recognise this area from the first game. I hope you do. Uh, if you don't, then, um, yeah, this is a pretty big area with lots of radiation down here as sort of symbolized by these lights. Uh, come through uh, here, yeah, we've got this shop pathway and we've got this other room that I built. Um, all, all looking good, all accurate, all the pathways go around and levers are annotated and all that stuff so yeah we made it to this area and just before the stream i worked on this area started from pretty much this area that i'm in now 
and just flesh this area out a lot so there's the conversion notice and um, yeah, that's the pathway back through to that main area near Darcy's office. Um, I purposefully didn't fill this floor in because I wanted to fill it in on stream because when I got to this area I found that everything is just going to connect absolutely perfectly when I slot this piece of floor in so I just want to be like oh, I got that piece of floor in. It's amazing. <laughs> it's such a great feeling when everything just kind of slots together. Um, so yeah, got this little area done as well and then yep, started the stream so we're going to carry on from this point here so let's crack on right with it by doing this floor here so yep that's that also this piece of floor also makes up these two walls here it just kind of saves space by just making it one huge thing so I just make that 400 ah and I slot that into place and it all nice. fits perfectly um, yeah, there's the entrance to the alpha section, and yeah, that's all all looking great. I'm so happy when it all fits together because that means I doesn't I haven't made a mistake anywhere. So that's good time nice. all around. Mm-hmm. It certainly is. All right, let's crack on with it. So I was doing this little area here, I'm just gonna make a bridge real quick. Yeah, the end of medical is in sight guys now. It's um it's not too far away. There's literally th there there are a few corridors, a few rooms. Got to connect them all together and then that is it. I will have I will have single-handedly blocked out the entirety of Citad Citadel station Citadel. minus Stittadel, Stittadel Station, um, minus the groves, um, for various oh, yeah. reasons. Yeah. That um, will be interesting if we can put that on stream when that time comes. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, Kane's like, which Minecraft mod is this? <laughs> <laughs> it's um, it uh, is one of the more complex Minecraft uh, mods where you're trapped in space. Against an AI who doesn't like you very much. Or Why likes you, you too much. Mm. So. Yeah, it'll be exciting when I finish everything off. But that means it'll kind of be sad as well. Because I won't... Um, I'll be... Obviously all that will be done. But uh, I'll be streaming new stuff for you guys when that time rolls around. So that'll be okay. What did I get up to there? Um, I don't know if people have seen our monthly stream schedule below, but we've got quite the jam-packed month. Mm-hmm. Lots of stuff. Yeah. Because this lots. week I'll be doing Hamtaro again on the 8th, and then we got Jonathan on the 9th, and then Steven on the 10th, and then next week you, and then Chris, and then John, and then Steven again. So many. Mm-hmm. It's going to be awesome. Uh, speaking of Steve, our fearless and glorious leader will not be joining us. He's currently away. No. So don't expect a surprise pop in from him, I'm afraid. Unless he joins us via, I don't know, satellite phone, wherever he is. Maybe. You never know with that guy. He no. could come any moment. Always yeah. be prepared. Yep. That's true. So, um... I'm not expecting to get medical finished tonight on the stream. I would like to finish medical on a stream, but um, it's just kind of time permitting, really. Um, but I'll try and work as fast as I can. About what percent done with medical are you, if you had to guess? Uh, about 80. Okay, so pretty close. So you probably finish it by the next one, if not that, then the one after. Mm-hmm. Yeah, looking that way. This is a very complicated floor. I'm just wondering what we're going to have you do next. Uh, item placement, I think. Yeah. I'm sure that will be entertaining for people on stream as well. Mm-hmm. 
I'll be going through, um, yeah, the blockhead that I've done. Because other members of the team are working on the blockhead as well. They're just doing different things. Um, Jonathan is getting temporary um, art put in there. Chris is still working on assets. Um, it's a very, very, very busy time. I think I can say that in the next week or so or more, I don't know exactly when we plan on doing this, but I think we want to go through the whole game on stream with the team and show you guys a look into like what a meeting we would do would uh, sound like, like have basically an audience to a meeting. Yeah, um, I believe this was mentioned on the last stream, but yeah, Cal is absolutely right. We want to uh, get a pretty much, yeah, a live meeting. That's really the best way to describe it. That's a good way, actually. Yeah. Um, it's like making, I would say it's like the equivalent to making a, a meeting public to like board members or something. Hmm. Yeah. That's a very good description. Yeah. So that will happen sometime soonish. I don't think it will be this week. Maybe no, next Steve's, week. Steve's probably too busy this week for that, and so is everyone else. Mm. But yeah, within a week or two. Yeah. Um. So yeah, right now I'm just getting through this as quickly as I possibly can because, I mean, you guys know about the adventure alpha that's coming up. Um. I need to furiously get on and meet my deadlines for all of that stuff, so um, trying not to waste any time. This room goes nowhere, but it's extremely complicated. Although I think I can suss out the pattern, actually. I should just be able to copy these two and cheat. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, do that. Looks to be the same along. I will verify this, so we've got that. Open that door. Hmm. Must make a note of that. I'll remember that for when I I won't annotate I don't annotate things live on stream. I do that kind of off stream, um, but I've just left myself a note because the computer voice that you hear that isn't showed and kind of speaks to you and tells you things. It tells uh, you all sorts of things. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay, so one, two, three. One, okay, two, three, and that's how long that section is. I'm looking forward to see what kind of possibly new traps we could spring down here in this area. That'll be fun. Uh, MacD11 says, I hope that voice comes back as it originally sounded in the remake, perhaps with some filters or something. Isn't it just one of the Apple Texas Beach things? <coughs> um, I'm honestly not too sure. It might be. Um, I'm not too familiar with old Apple stuff, but if you say it is, then it could well possibly be. Um, we will have a look to see if that is the case, and if it is, might do something with it. Uh, it's kind of early days yet, but um, we'll see. Uh, this is all pretty much a flat ceiling, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Alright. Go 
quickly do this. I might have to restart my editor because it is acting a bit sluggish. Uh, Mac D11 following up on that. A team I was working with found something that sounded remarkably similar when looking for a voice that sounded like the Vox announcer in Half Life, and instead found that the computer voice we were talking about was just from the from this game. Oh, okay. Um. Yeah, that's cool. I didn't know that. Yeah, I'm going to very quickly restart my editor here. Just after a quick save. There we go. Yeah, that feels better. Awesome. A little bit. There You're joking go. around about the 420 version being sluggish. Yeah, I forgot about that. I'll need to make a note of that camera so I don't forget it. Beep boop camera. Hey, some kind of old classical music going on behind you, Carly. What's that? <laughs> oh, so Roll has fallen asleep and so has my cat listening to, like, smooth music. Oh, wow. Taking a nap right now. Hmm. <laughs> <gasps> Wolfenbach, I see you there with all those cupcakes. We got cupcakes! Yay! Yeah, cupcakes as bits. Thank you. Cupcakes, cupcakes, um, cupcakes are good. Sir Kane wants to know how you don't get lost with all that checkered board pattern. All the gray. Um, uh, it's surprising. Once you have built the area, you become very kind of familiar with it. Um, so I'm just kind of, I'm just kind of used to it. Um, that's really the kind of best answer I can give. Um, once you get used to it. Yeah. Although I, I will admit it is really, it is really weird seeing, um, some of the level stuff I've done not grey like this. Um. It's really cool to see still. Hmm. Uh, move that to make that four. Yeah, that's okay. And this is all just one long floor piece. I really cannot contain my excitement for the continuation of me streaming Hamtaro now. <laughs> I had a lot of fun on Friday. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. 2, 4... Yeah, um, I guess when you get streaming a game you like, uh, it I mean, can be a I lot stream, of fun. 
other games that I like in the past. It's just that um, I haven't played this since I was a kid. It's been a long time. <laughs> I used to play it over and over and over again. One game, oh geez, one game I haven't played in years. Possibly decades. Um, there was a Game Boy Color game called um, Dragon Warrior Monsters. Oh. Um, it was kind of like Pokemon, but it wasn't. Oh, I know which one um, you're talking about now, yeah. Yeah. Um, I was hopelessly, hopelessly addicted to that game for many, many months. This is the months. one that's like... This one is very similar to the Monster Rancher game that was on Game Boy Color as well. Mm. There was like a whole era of games just like this. They were always so much fun though. Yeah, they were. Six. Plus the graphics are just so cute and charming. Yeah. I just like that you, you could kind of get monsters and not only could you get the monsters i think you could talk to them and you could like breed them to get more powerful monsters and it was always yeah it was just so much fun at the time i'd probably go back to it and play it now and be like oh my god what was what was i thinking but at the time it was I just mean, so much fun i'm sure it's fun in its own right because it's part of that whole series it's just like a spin-off you know uh, so i'm sure it's mm. done really well yeah, pro yeah, yeah. I can see was. it holding up after a time, considering who the developers are. Mm -hmm. The Monster Ranch one does not hold up as well because the concept of it was really bizarre. But I am a sucker for any kind of game like that. Anything with creatures. Hmm. <laughs> um. Once I finish the Ham Taro one that I'm doing right now, Ham Hams Unite. I'm going to play Ham Ham Heartbreak, which is the sequel on uh, Game Boy Advance. It's sorry. so good. I just love the name, sorry. Yeah, it's cute. Um, <laughs> like, I I was explaining on stream, it's a surprisingly deep game for something that's Ham Taro. Mm. That's good. It, it plays out very similarly to, like, how a lot of classic um, adventure, like, point and click choose like word options and stuff you know exploring it's very fun mm. it's just an adventure game all right so <clears throat> we're in the area now that will kind of not make or break but it will be interesting to see what happens because uh, this is the area now uh, that will connect up to um, this area the uh, main door, the bulkhead door that you can see at the beginning of the game but it's locked. So if I've done everything right this whole area that I've built here will connect to this bulkhead door down here. Although I don't think we'll be able to access this area just yet. I think it might actually be locked until we deal with the CPU nodes. But I'm just going to take a take a punt at it anyway so we got really, really long corridor here, so I need to work this out. So it's 400 wide, but it's this might be a bit difficult. Um, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, two thousand, two thousand long. Okay. But it doesn't start where you think it does. It's a, it's a bit weird. Uh, here's a question. Did most of the original System Shock connect levels via elevators? Uh, yes. They all do. It was the only real way they could... Really, well, they could do it other ways, but they, that's how they chose to transition things. Um, right, so if that's 2,000... So... 200, 4, 6, 8, 1,000, 1,200. So... 
two, four, six, eight. Two, four, six, eight. Ten. That should be right. Well, if it's in the space, so it must be correct. I'm going to say yes. Until I have to say no. But I shouldn't have to say what? no. I'm going to say yes, it's correct. It's yes until you know. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to say yes, it's correct until it isn't correct. Then I'm going to say oops. Um, and then Sirkin asks, you going to have elevators and use them to stream in new levels? Uh, we'll have elevators, yes. Although how, how the level transitioning will work, um, our programmer knows about. Um, but that's not an area that I know about yet. But I will become familiar with it soon. Uh, two... Four, six, eight, a thousand. So that's two. That's four. Six, eight, a thousand. That's correct. And then that's two hundred, four hundred, six hundred, and that should be the end of that corridor. Two, four, six, yeah, that's right. Uh, but we got a little, uh, not hidden, but we got a little passageway to crouch into, so. How long is it though? 200, 400, just 600. I'm going to remind chat that if you have a question for Daniel, just use at Night Dive Studios. And <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm going to laugh now. Um, I thought I was going to say that, that noise in the background distracted me. Was, was that a dog? <laughs> no, it was not a dog. <laughs> I just said woof. <laughs> Um, use at Night Dive Studios if you have a question for Daniel so I can re relay it to him. Sorry. <laughs> that was Roll. He, he made that sound. He does that sometimes to distract me. <laughs> uh, I'm just going to make that that size until it becomes a problem. Shouldn't be. Though. Uh, here's a question that I'm seeing. It says, are there plans for cyberspace stuff in the Adventure Alpha? Is no. cyberspace a thing in New System Shock? I am bad at keeping up with this stuff. Uh, there will be no no cyberspace stuff in the Adventure Alpha. Um, that will have to come later. Yeah. The Adventure Alpha is l literally like the uh, the clues in the name. Really, it's just an adventure thing. You will walk around and explore the space that we've made, and um, you'll be able to go from start to finish um, through the through the world, minus cyberspace, minus the groves. And um, that will essentially be it. Um, it's kind of to get initial feedback. Tourism mode, that's a good way to describe it. Yeah. Um, yes, that is. 
Um, but it, it is going to be, I want to remind people, at first it will be very, very limited who's in it. Um, we're going to distribute that kind of a thing slowly mm -hmm. um, for many reasons. Yeah, we want to keep things smallish at first. Um, and it will branch out later on as, as we go. Um, because when you have 12,000 people all running around and providing feedback, that is a lot of feedback that we can't honestly process because we just do not have the time or the manpower to deal with it. Um, so keeping things small and rolling it out slowly. That's the sensible way. Yes. I am. I like that. The Citadel Station Memorial Museum. <laughs> That's what <laughs> it's going to be. Something already doesn't feel quite right. That gap is way too big. Did I have to extend it? Oh, I know why. Okay. No, that's fine. Um, I remember I had to extend a few corridors out. So it won't match the size that I want. Um, so I should expect that. Yes. Okay, so it's not the right size by 200, but I know why. Um, it is because we had to extend uh, this corridor by 200. So because of the length of that corridor has changed, that won't be right. So I don't know, could we make this corridor a bit longer then? So it kind of matches. I suppose we should do. Um. Uh, so what can one do in Unreal when it comes to optimizing a game? That's a question from Wolfenbach. Um. I'll be honest, I don't have an answer for that. Because that's not <clears throat> something I'm kind of familiar with at the moment. Um, Unreal Ed 4 um, must have some optimization tools in there somewhere. Uh, unfortunately, all the optimization tools I know that were in Unreal are obsolete. Um, so that will be something that we will explore later on. And it's very possible that Chris and Matt know more about it than I do anyway, because Matt's a programmer and it's his job to not only get things to work, but to make sure that they are optimized. Um, so, uh, hang on, no, I don't want to extend that bit. <coughs> Want to move that? Okay. Hmm. Also, thanks to everyone who helped with the door thing earlier. I tried to make it into a contest of who could figure it out first and send me things. Hmm. So thanks to all the doors being sent to me. I've got a lot of doors in my inbox. Doors <laughs> in my DM.
Wolf and Box, like the door. Uh, yeah, on Discord, I was asking for people to verify that I got all the doors. Yeah, we're um, just making sure we got all the doors. Don't want to miss out on any doors, any door varieties. No door left behind. That's what I always say. Mm hmm. Um, okay, so I know now that that space is correct. have a cat lick your toes it feels very weird that was insanely random but no it's not random if it happens now <laughs> Slotting that floor into place and it all fits. Because that is 200, 400, 600, and so's that. Oh, okay. All right. That is very close. I didn't realize how close that actually was, but uh, it doesn't matter. Um, okay. Oh, don't be awkward with me. Fine, be awkward with me. And I'll just delete you. Hey, don't delete. You're gone. Sometimes I'm just, it's unreal, it's just like, yeah, I don't want to do that. Um, no particular reason, it just won't do it. So I delete it and create a new block that's exactly the same and it just does it. And by does it, I mean when I alter the uh, vertices of a um, particular piece of BSP. Well, we've just just about to create the exit elevator area. That would take us up to oh. level two. Um, so I know that Chris and Matt will be very happy that I got that area in, because that's the area that they want to work on.
I'll read this out loud from Clef Zero. Not a question, but I love how transparent the system shock dev is. Hope it's a trend more project, uh, more, bleh. I hope it's a trend more projects pick up, even if, even if I understand why they might not. And I want to say, I'm glad a lot of people do like our streams and our dev stream stuff because I'm passionate that we should be doing it because, you know, you kickstarted a game and it's fun to be able to share everything we're doing. Yeah, um, that's absolutely correct. It's It's been a bit of a tough road to get to this point. Um, but we fe we just felt that making things more transparent would, um, you know, make you guys a bit happier. So that's what we did. All right. So that can be 100. That can be 600. Oh, no, it doesn't. No, that could be 400. Right, now to sealing this area off. Six hundred. Oh no. Two hundred that direction. Six hundred that direction. So yeah, that's the um Exit elevator. Just put a little plane there to tell the devs that there's a door there. And yeah. I'm I'm always so thrilled when an area like that just connects because it means like I like I've mentioned before, it just means that you've done everything right. <laughs> it's a nice feeling. It is. And it means, more importantly, that you don't have to mess around going back and going, oh, which block is correct, which isn't, because I nearly had a unfortunate little thing happen. Just before I went online, I was I, I was connecting up that previous area, uh, this area, and I thought, there's something not right, because this area was 200 units out of place, and I thought, oh no, where's it all gone wrong? And luckily, there was just a little mistake that I'd done in this corridor here. I'd offset something by 200, and that was easy to fix. But um, it's kind of a bit shocking when you discover that, oh my goodness, something doesn't fit quite into place. And you could then have to spend hours trying to find and fix the problem. Either that, or if you can, um, alter. you can alter the level geometry slightly to, I guess, cover up the problem, but, uh, oh, that block was weird, um, but trying to keep it as close to the original as possible is what we want, so sometimes it's just necessary to go back and fix your mistakes. I keep looking at all of those little cupcakes in that jar that Wolfenbach gave us. It's funny that <laughs> it comes out as those little emotes. <laughs> I didn't know it did that until last time. Mm. Okay. Two, four, six, eight that way. But I did extend this corridor, so two, four, six, eight. That'll be, yeah, that's a thousand. Because it's a straight line. Yeah, it's a straight line there. Um, straight across. So. We got more cupcakes. Mom gave us more cupcakes. <laughs> How funny. Oh, and Clef Zero just subscribed to us with Twitch Prime. That's awesome. Aww. Thanks. Thank you. 
Tagla says we don't speak of Dalmageddon anymore. <laughs> <laughs> that was really funny. Mm. Yeah. Ultimately, though, dogs won that one. So. Just Sorry. barely. Mm hmm. A lot of those cupcakes did not even fall in the jar. I was watching the animation <laughs> for it. <laughs> <coughs> Where did they go? On the floor. I Everywhere. On the floor. Oh. Everybody walked the dinosaur. <laughs> I don't know if I want to eat cupcakes that have been on the floor. It's a five second no rule though. <laughs> it's a five second rule though, right? Something like that. Okay. 200... That'll be 400, that'll be 1. Just slot that down in there and we've got a wall. Oh, fudge. That's, I forgot, I didn't see that doorway there. Alright, never mind. Uh, 2, 4, okay. So I'm going to have to destroy that. That's not a big room, is it? It's just a container for stuff, if I remember rightly. Yeah, that's no, not hard to do at all. Ooh, that lines up just with that. <sighs> We're, 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 we're living on the edge here. Sorry. Good times. Yeah. Sorry, were you about to say something? No, I was just laughing. Ah. Uh, uh, me or Israel making more noises? I was laughing at you. Because <laughs> you enough. made a noise. It made yeah. me laugh. Yep. I bet I was watching this show on Netflix that's um, hmm. set in Ireland, and um, I'm obsessed now with the fact that they kept saying like at the end of every sentence almost. It was so <laughs> frequent. It was driving me crazy. And now, every time I'm talking, I'm accidentally saying it. <laughs> and I, ha I keep correcting myself. I'm like, damn it, now it's in my head. <laughs> I'm even thinking in it. Yeah, I do that sometimes. I watched two full seasons of this show, so it's going to be a while until it's out of my head. Well, what was it called again? I think the show's called Can't Cope, Won't Cope, and it's set in, most of it's set in Dublin, but the girls are from like some countryside that I can't remember. Oh, okay. I mean, it's not too different from the fact that I've lived a lot of most of my life now in California and we say like a lot, mm. but we don't do it in the same way. We say it in a different spot in our sentences. So now it's just getting back in my head after I've been trying to kick the habit of saying the word like. Like, oh my God. Yeah, what, like. what is she wearing? Oh my God. Like. That's so valley. Wow. <laughs> like, oh my God. Gag me with a spoon. <laughs> I think Rawl and I, the other day, we were trying to figure out, how do you say, like, when you're casually saying the word what, what does it sound like? To me. 
Yeah, like wh when you say what, say what. What? Okay, so it doesn't have any strong emphasis anywhere. Um, we were watching this video where this guy was explaining his accent and how to how certain words are pronounced, mm. and I was like, I wonder how this compares to how Daniel and Chris talk. <laughs> um, obviously it can depend on where you're from. Yeah. Um, I mean, same here when there's different regional uh, accents as well. Sometimes you'll hear people say uh, "what," as in "wot." <laughs> yes. Um, I can't think of any others. I was just wondering where the emphasis was when you say it. I am making this corridor more complicated than it needs to be. Why? Just like to get complicated. Mm-hmm. Everyone's saying that what what song, like the what what in the butt song. I haven't thought about that in a very long time. What what in the butt? It's been a while since that was even in the mainstream. Yeah. <laughs> Chats haven't shown its age. Yeah. Speaking of it, I haven't seen South Park in ages. Oh gosh, I forgot that they did that on South Park. <laughs> Starkin says, maybe you'll forget about like now that the song is in your mind. No, now I'm going to be like, like what, what? <laughs> or what, what, like? Whatever, whatever. I do what I want. <laughs> Speaking of the word whatever, there's that thing. It was like, loser, loser, double loser, as if whatever. Get the picture, duh. I don't know that one. Oh, it's a very, like, California thing. I remember when I first moved here, there was I was blown away by a lot of like the lingo. Hmm. Valley, like California Valley stuff is very different. And Southern California is very different. And everyone has like really bad vocal fry and I try not to have it. But it, I, it sneaks up on you. Vocal what? Vocal fry? It's very common in California. It's a <clears throat> uh sound people make when they're like ending words. Uh? It's, it's like not, it's not Tim Allen, like, is it? It's like a no. It's like a drawl at the end of your like words and sentences where it's like very improper sounding. Oh. I don't know how to describe it, but you hear it like vocal fry. It's a bad habit, and most people in California have it. Ooh. Unreal is doing that thing again where it grabs objects uh -oh. I don't want it to grab. Really annoying. Stop that. Okay. Um, two hundred. Where am I? There I am.
Okay. We're up to the here room. If you, uh... The what? If you, yeah, the if here. you... Oh. The yes. here room. If you, I'm not sure what that is. Well, it says here, so... Yeah, there's just a point in the game where somebody yeah. writes the word here on the wall. It's... It was one of those things back in the day of, oh my god, this is, this is, this is environmental storytelling at its peak, guys. Peak here. You um, should um, leave an annotation that just says here. Mm hmm. That's exactly what I'm going to do. Awesome. Text. Make it red. Make it slanty a little bit. Not that slanty. That slanty. Um a loop. Uh Sir Kane wants to know why you're not using comic sans for the text. <laughs> Um. Barack the Wicked wants to know are British taught German in school? Yes. Um, we are, along with French, <clears throat> and when I went to school, uh, Latin. Um, I have forgotten. Depending Most on the of the Latin. Depending on what school you go to here, we have a lot of language options to learn, but they don't really require it that much. Like it, it's only required if you want to like go go to like a nice college. Mm. But they don't really require you to. Like I took two years of Spanish, and I still can't speak Spanish. I can read it and kind of understand it when I'm listening, but I cannot speak Spanish at all. Hmm. Knowing, knowing Spanish. What? Sorry, sorry. Sorry, Karen. Oh, I was going to say it's Rawls' first language, but he's even forgetting it because he uses English so often. Right. I thought, yeah, I, I was under the impression that learning. Um, learning Spanish in America was kind of a necessity these days. I, I feel like it should be. I feel like it should be required and mandatory, actually. Mm -hmm. Like, it's especially living in California. I feel like you need to know. Like, I feel like where I I live, it's one of the more dominant languages. It's probably equal, They're like equally spoken. And then there's yeah. like a California like Spanglish type stuff where people speak both. All right. Okay. I mean, it helps being able to read it, but, and like, I can kind of understand what people are saying to me. I'm just really bad at speaking it. It's hard for me. Hmm. But I want to, I want to practice and get better. <laughs> so I don't feel dumb. Manuel, there is too much butter on those trays. There is too much butter on those trays. I no, sir, no, 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 sir, it's not on those trays. No, no. Uno, dos, tres. Oh my god. What a bad <laughs> joke. Anybody who's seen Faulty Towers will understand that joke immediately. Oh. 
Oh, I just noticed this in chat from Gortaz or Gortaze saying, hey, at the part where you were having trouble with, you know, instead of having the geometry cube at two squared triangle, you can have it at one squared triangle. I don't know if that's delayed information for you, but. Uh, say again, sorry. I didn't so quite understand. Hey, at the part where you were having the trouble with, uh, you know, instead of having a geometry cube at two triangle squared triangle, at two square triangle, you can have it at one square triangle. I uh, don't know if that makes sense to you. I probably could, but it. I just kind of do things my own way. It's just quicker. Oh, I forgot. Right. Okay. So we're at this area now. So this area is yeah. There's a kind of like a reveal here. Um. You come from. Oh yeah, I haven't done this corridor yet. Yeah, there's um. Really long corridor all the way around, and you see through. Um, a kind of grating. Um, I still got all that to do. Oof. Um, two, four, six, two, four, six, eight, ten, Oh, Gore says he was referring to the part where the of the room where it had the word or it had in blood the word uh, resist on it. Ooh. Just going back. Um. I am not sure. Sorry, I I can't really stop. <laughs> I've it's got hard a lot. Because things are delayed too, yeah. so it's like the timing is a bit weird. Mm -hmm. I don't want to stop and look. I'm kind of making good time here. Want to keep going? this I'll stick it in there then just a 400 by 400 floor and we'll I'll deal with that corridor probably off stream um, I just want to kind of keep going where I'm going <coughs> round oh. to the uh, the uh, CPU room Okay, two, f yeah, that's as I expected, that's 600. Do you know, I think the sluggishness might not be unreal, well, it is un unreal, I think it's just the, um, the levels getting uh, very big. And uh, Unreal starting to complain because I'm not using any uh, portalizing or uh, tricks to hide the geometry that you shouldn't be able to see. So it's beginning to complain a little bit. Which is to be expected.
Um, Alright. Oh, I forgot my side. Yeah, it's probably all warm now. Yep, it's all warm. Warm and yuck. Ow. We've got a repeat of uh, that corridor we did earlier. Huh? With the, with the triangle square, triangle uh -oh. square, triangle square thing. So, okay, we'll just do one, two, do three of these. Do, do. Everyone's talking about what they had to drink today. I just had a milk tea with egg pudding. That was so good. <laughs> I drank a hell of a lot of water because I was at the gym today, so. That's smart. I've had two, a lot of water two. today, too. Mm. So much water. That, it's just been humid. It's just like, oh, I need to drink water all the time. Constant rehydration. Mm hmm. Oh boy. Delete you. I had this cocktail the other day um, mm. at this 80s dance club thing that I went to that had Calpico, uh, had Calpico, cranberry juice, vodka, and lime. It was very good. Wow. It was a very unique taste, too, because I've never had Calpico um, mixed with cranberry before, and I really liked it. And now I just want to mix Calpico and cranberry by themselves constantly. <laughs> so, one, two, three... Okay, just three. Uh, <laughs> Brock the Wicked's asking what happened to your hair, which I don't know what he means. Uh, I had haircut. Oh... Did you have a haircut? I can't tell. It's like such a small screen. <laughs> yes, haircut. Woo. I need to do a conditioning treatment. It's I order these color conditioning treatments for my hair. Because mm. since my hair is mostly bleached, from, I, I bleached my hair a lot in the past year and a half-ish. To make my hair like a grayish purple color, okay. But it 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 fades um, fast because it's gray. So I need color treatments, and it should be here by tomorrow. And it rehydrates my whole head. It feels really great. <laughs> nice. Because my hair gets dry during this time of year, and I'm mm. on medication that's drying it out. Oh. So it'll feel really nice once I get that done. I nice. just do it at home. I'm basic. I just have head and shoulders. That's it. <laughs> Everything I have is like super nice. I buy. I like to. Now that I'm a growing woman, I like to take care of myself. Lots mm. of oils and specialty shampoos. <laughs> Herbal essences. Don't I always wear lots of sunblock to protect my skin, so I won't get wrinkles. Good, good, good. Yeah. I'm an advocate of self-care. Hmm. Drink lots of water, guys. Stay hydrated, kids. Please like, comment, and subscribe to my water drinking channel. AKA this channel. <laughs> uh, we've got a floor that goes down.
Uh, not two, two hundred. That's something like a thousand. I don't know, far off it. Uh, we'll call that 800 for now. Just fill in blocks in. Yeah, Unreal is really grumpy right now. Tell it to cheer up. Oh well, it is Unreal 420. It should hmm. be it should be pretty mellow and chill about stuff, but it just wants to be slow. Well, not slow, but it just likes to. It's it's feeling the feeling the burn. Forgot about that corridor as well. Okay. That extends over two hundred. No, four hundred. Oh, I, I was thinking, um, that playthrough we did of uh, System Shock 2 on our uh, Night uh -huh. Dive publisher page, we should find a way to continue that. Oh, yeah. We'll probably do it, I don't know, if you're up for it, Carly, it might be like a thing we do, like, just on our own. One, two, three, mm -hmm. four, five. But, um, well, we can probably find some time in our schedules to work it in. Mm-hmm. And we'll just switch to doing it on here. Yep. One, two, three, four, five. Cool. Now I know that there's a hidden room back there. Um, just reminding people, if you have questions, just add us and we'll try to our best to answer them. Yep, within reason. Yeah. If we really can't answer it, there's it's a reason. Sometimes you can't answer things without the boss man. Nope. Because you don't want boss man to get cross. Oh man, two weeks until Life is Strange 2, episode 1. I'm so excited. Oh yeah, that game. Mm. I've still got... I think the first lot saved waiting to be played. You what? Life is Strange, that game. The episodic game, say? right? Yeah. Life is, Life is Strange. 
No, uh, what did you say after that? Oh, uh, I, I've still got it. I'm, I'm still... It, it's set in my Steam library waiting to be played. You should play it. Yeah, I've heard good things. It's um, one of my favorites. But I did just buy Yakuza 0. So mm. I need to find the time to play that as well. Never enough time to do any of this. No, I buy games and then when it comes to playing them, I'm absolutely terrible. Uh, six. I do buy less two. games than I used to, which is good. Mm. Like, I I don't like the feeling of hoarding, which I, I've done a lot in my life. <laughs> so I just want to play. Mm-hmm. But I do get in a bad habit of playing the same thing over and over again sometimes. Yeah. I know that feeling, yes. Because, uh... You, you just have that feeling of, oh, I just want to play System Shock 2 just one more time. And then you realize that it's your tenth playthrough. And all those other games are sat there going, why aren't you playing me? But pay attention to me. Mm -hmm. Um. Uh. I don't know. I I've gotten to play some new games recently, like because of streaming them. Yes. Well, that's good. I had started Octopath, but I. I took a break from it because I had a party wipe, and then I was like, oh, I'll get back to this later. And then I haven't. Hmm. Uh, 100... 1,000... I think I'm also guilty if like conditions aren't perfect, then I don't want to play a game because it's been so hot. I don't want to be sitting around being all sweaty, like it's uncomfortable. I like I want to have lots of dedicated time, so I don't have to feel pressured or stressed. I want to be comfy. <laughs> like I don't I, like I want the air conditioning on, snacks, water. You wouldn't want to feel like I, how I feel right now because I've got. Lights on me. <laughs> I already uh, know how you feel. I have my fan on me too right now. Going outside to go to lunch was a mistake. It was so hot. Mm -hmm. I was like, why are we driving in this heat? Okay. Oh, shoot. I can't open that door yet. Alright, never mind then. Uh, yeah, 200. Uh, two, four hundred, six hundred, eight hundred, thousand, twelve, fourteen, sixteen. Oh. Oh no. What? Hang on. I need to carefully think about things here. Ooh, you crafty devils. Is that how you did it? Okay. Talk about cutting things close. Oh man. 
Uh, I'm going to quickly just alter all these. Actually, no, what am I doing? Just cheat it. I can tell now that um, Chris and Jonathan are absolutely going to love this area. <laughs> absolutely love it. Easy peasy, no problem. Mm-hmm. One, two, okay, just three. Um, here's a question. How come some how come things sometimes have to be changed from the original out of curiosity? Is it just that old cheeky flat walls or is that uh is there other weirdness? Um, it can be the flat wall uh, scenario. Um, that's usually the main reason why we why we have to change things. Another reason can be uh, we just have the technology to do so now. Um, so if if an area can be made prettier, um, and there's space to do it. There's no real reason why we shouldn't, um, or can't. Uh, it's just kind of making the game look, you know, sort of giving it that extra oomph um, yeah. visually. Because, mm. mm. you know, that never hurts. Um, I, this this area I don't know about this area. This area is way. This area is cutting it way too close. Uh, it might get changed, might not. Might be spaced out a bit better. No idea. Yet. Yeah, Unreal's really feeling it now. Really feeling it. All right, we have about thirty minutes left of our stream. Wow. Okay. Better get a move on then. You better. Just like that. I will sealing off this area later. Because it's fiddly and annoying. Are there any plans to publish a side-by-side -side comparison of the original and new maps, sort of a blueprint phase one 
versus Blueprints Actual? Um, we haven't talked about it, but it might be something that we could do, maybe. Yeah, I guess, maybe. Uh, that goes an extra 200. Oh, no, delete that. Delete, get rid. minutes to ask us anything right now that we can possibly answer. Mm -hmm. And then we disappear into the abyss. Yep. So yeah, I'm going to see if that that car, that corridor should connect to that one. Hopefully, um, we shall see. Two hundred, four hundred. Wow, gosh. Uh, two. Yeah, okay, 200 that way. Hang on, I could just make that one big piece. Yeah, actually, this is going to fit just fine. Which means I'm happy. And when you're happy, everyone's happy. Mm hmm. Two, four, six. Oh, yeah, look at that. That already joins up with the floor that I previously made for that wall, so... Yeah, that all lines up really, really nicely. Happy, happy, happy. Um... How much more detail do you plan to pack into the remaster levels, com levels compared to the original? Um... Depends what we can do <clears throat> in the time. Um, you know, there's um, the odd space vista here and there that we can throw in, you know, make things look a bit nicer. Uh, where am I going? Um, you know, just... Um, That kind of stuff. Um, what else? Like, j just things you would expect. Like, so th the game will not look like the block out that I'm doing now. 
um, it will look far more far more detailed um, and I, mean, uh, I guess we could compile like comparison images over time through our streams and stuff so people mm -hmm. can see like eventually yeah like um, where is it I just um, if I switch the lighting on here just kind of stuff like this I mean this whole area um, looks yeah it doesn't look anything like the uh, original but just like we've got you know steam coming out here there are pipes in the background there's shelving there's a there's just there's particles floating in the air which look a bit rough in the editor but when you're in, in the actual game it looks a lot better um, just stuff like that really um, it will look there there are railings here now um, the energy station that's not supposed to look like that don't worry about that um, just stuff like that to give it more um, kind of depth really um, yeah, so it won't look, won't oh look my flat. Gosh. Sorry? Wait, I heard this says, wait, you're going to put textures on these checkerboards? I didn't sign up for this. Unfollowed, unpacked, <laughs> deleting all the emails. <laughs> I love it. Um, Cyberdyne's asking, when do we plan to release the next Kickstarter update? And I'm going to say probably next week. Because mm. Steve's out this week, um, so I assume we're going to do it next week. I just have to compile for everything that we might want to show, because we haven't talked about it yet. I like it. Wait, I misread the Kickstarter. I thought this was a D-make. <laughs> I like that. We're totally going 8-bit. We're going to take apart the original game so no one can play it ever again. <laughs> all, this block out, this. All, all this block out stuff, this has just been a ruse, guys. This this all... <gasps> it's all not real. A distraction. Mm -hmm. Smoke bomb. <laughs> I I'm actually you know thinking about it I actually might be a little bit closer to 90% um, finish with this level oh. I won't I won't be able to finish it on the stream but next um, Possibly the next stream. Um, if not, it might get finished off stream. Maybe. Uh -oh. I, I, I could try and prevent that, though. <laughs> Just don't tell anybody. Quick, distract him. Mm. Yeah, ju just thinking about it, there's... This area, there's down here and all that space I need to do. Which isn't much. That would take me maybe half a... All this area would take me maybe half a day to do. Yeah. I'm further along than I thought. Wow. Well. Which is not a bad thing. Um... <laughs> uh, 800. Man, cutting it so close all the time. It's 
scary sometimes. I'm going to cheat that. Oh, Unreal, stop doing that. No point in putting an extra piece there when I can just extend it. Um, like, yeah, I suppose this is another example, really. These computer rooms, there's nothing in them. Um, I imagine when we come round to actually doing all the art for them, they'll look much more interesting. Um, you know, for what we can do in the time. And I'm kind of disappointed in the game. These computers don't, don't, they don't even have any blinky lights. No blinky lights? No. They're just kind of there. Mm. Kind of disappointing. So if we put computers in these rooms, you bet your bottom dollar that they're going to have blinky lights. It's required. Mm -hmm. It's the future. You've got to have blinky Thanks lights. Just a word there, computer. Computer. Hey kid, oh. I'm a computer. <laughs> Stop all the download. It's still always going to be one of my favorites. Every computer can run Doom, yes. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna be at 400 just to save me headaches. And then... We're gonna start constructing this room. Start off strong. Two, four, six, eight hundred. Okay. Up by two. Let's see if I can get this entire room done with the time we've got left. Uh, that's probably a very big ask, but uh, see what I can do.
Oh, right, yeah. Yeah, it helps if I angle the camera, right? 600... Uh, 800... Ooh, that fits nicely in there, okay. Two, four hundred... Okay. Set for that one, that one's 600. This room is a bit of an odd shaped one, if I'm honest. I feel like there's a lot of interesting and weird shapes in this. Mm hmm. Yeah, there is. The more you de deconstruct and reconstruct. <laughs> yeah. Whoops, what am I doing? That's not right. Uh, how high is this pillar I'm stood on? Only 400. I mean, that would make sense, then it would line up with the floor. Four hundred. Oh boy, my clothes are sticking to me again. <laughs> so oh no. uncomfortable. Actually, can that be? Oh yeah, let's just two hundred, two hundred, and solve two problems. Uh. 
Uh, Kelgor is asking, is it too early to confirm that Power Slave is happening sometime? Uh... Gosh darn it, where do you hear rumors like that? Rumors abound. Uh, 400... 100... Well, that's that room pretty much done. Sort of. Someone said, so this is how you block out levels dot 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 dot. <laughs> yep. Pretty much. I will have to... One thing I'm still hoping I can try to do, if possible, uh, is... Um, get all of the levels together in one level, if that makes sense. And see if it just works. I, d I doubt it, but it would be interesting. Your computer will catch fire mm -hmm. the moment you do it. Uh, did you? There we go. Um, if you guys have got any more questions, we've got about seven, six minutes left, so... Yeah, about that. So be sure to get them in, um, and we'll answer them if we can. We do our best. Don't be mad. Hmm. <laughs> well, I was able to do it. I finished that room, so... Nice. What I'm wondering if, when I'm so close to the um, end of this level, whenever it is, and there isn't another stream going on, I could just say, screw it, I'm doing a stream right now. Come in and come and join in if you want to watch the final block out Final piece. moments. Yeah. Though it technically wouldn't be the final, final moments, because I did save level 9 for last. Like, there's a... The, the final oh. showdown, the final showdown yeah. chamber. That is technically the last thing I have to block out ever. Uh, so mm. I don't know. I have to think on it. All right, guys, you have five minutes left. Ask what you will. <laughs> Into that room and I will kill you. Hmm. In five minutes, the stream will self-destruct. <laughs> Kilgore Ooh. says, what should I have for dinner? Um... Tuna, cucumber,
cucumber and red onion sandwich. Huh. That's what you should have. What GPU are you using? Uh, GTX 970. What is the single thing the team is most excited to recreate in this remake as a whole? Um, for me personally, it would be just expanding the levels out, like I kind of previously mentioned, like um, just seeing what we can do with the space that we have. Um, and uh, just seeing how we can make things look awesome. So people will One. go, oh, this is the area of the game that I remember, but it looks it looks like it looks ten times more awesome. Here's That'd that cool. thing that does the thing. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Two, four, six, eight. Uh, once five. these levels are blocked out, what's the next step? Texturing and props? Uh, for me, it would be for me, it will be placing the interactable objects, and by that, that's um, the uh, the the pickups, the the patches that you find around the station, uh, all that stuff. That'll be next for me personally. The other guys are already working on art and stuff like that. Um, so that'll be for me next personally. Gotta put my. <laughs> I nearly said something really rude then. <laughs> Kilgore says your food suggestion is too light. I would say then have a grilled cheese and tomato soup. Soup. And then okay. Yeah, tomato soup uh, to dip it. I, oh, I was I was expecting you to say sandwich. Cause that yeah, grilled cheese delicious. sandwich, and then you dip the dip it into the soup. Because it, it tastes good like that. Mm. Making me feel hungry now. I'm so far from hungry. I had all you can eat sushi for lunch. <laughs> Whenever I hear somebody say all you can eat, I just think of that episode of The Simpsons where Homer goes and literally has all you can eat sushi, uh, seafood or something. Um, and I'm not uh, sure if I've seen that episode or not. I'll send you a clip later. It's funny. It's one of the uh, older episodes well, of The Simpsons, so it's good. Yeah. Well, we have every single episode downloaded because it's one of Roll's favorites. Mm. And so I've seen a lot of the episodes, but I don't know if I've seen all the episodes. Mm. Uh, here's a question. Do you guys think Shodan when genetically engineered living cool beans? What? <laughs> I think I read that wrong, but you get the point. Cool beans. Uh, cool beans. They'd probably be beans that would leap up and try and strangle you. Um, maybe. At least that, that's what I like to think she'd do. We have two minutes left. We have... What can you... Huh? We, ha we, we have... One minute. Uh, one minute yeah, left we, we, we got and then this will self-destruct no what? it can't self-destruct yeah, that, 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 means, that means it's I'll self-destruct I'll self-destruct <laughs> you don't want me to go boom do you boom no I don't want to go boom no more citadel station you have to start over I would rage quit the planet if I had to start the block out over again I would legit uh -huh. rage quit the planet would you guys ever consider a System Shock comic? I feel um, like that would be like a Rob Waters thing. Oh man, that'd be so cool actually. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thanks for the pitch. <laughs> could, could tell him about that. Man, that'd be so awesome. Uh, last second question. When are you planning on being live again? Um, if you scroll below, that's our um, schedule. Uh, we've got quite the jam-packed month of streams. 
So check it out. Mm-hmm. Got just loads of stuff. Um, lots of good stuff planned. Um, I'm just going to finish off these few walls and probably call it. Yep, we're at our two hour mark. Mm hmm. Yeah, um. Yeah, gonna call it here actually. Um, there's so much, um, so much left still to do. But um, yeah, tired. Need a break. Need to stop looking at the computer screen for a bit. So um, yeah. we're gonna call it there for tonight. Just after this, this. Uh, Lighting build's done. Um, as always, guys, thanks for watching. It's always yes. really nice to show off the stuff that we're doing um, and keep you guys entertained in the meantime. Yeah. Um, any final words, Carly, before we wrap up? Mm -hmm. No, just make sure if you don't already, follow us on our Discord, Twitter, Facebook. Follow us here so you get notifications when we stream. Schedules below, and that's about it. Mm hmm. All right. Bye. All right. Bye -bye. Yeah. Thanks, guys. We're going to call it there. Take care of yourselves. Have a great week. And yeah, we'll probably end up finishing this level on Monday, actually. I'm going to try and possibly save it, and then not only could I finish medical on Monday, but I could end up then getting. Uh, the remainder of um, level 9 finished live on the stream so I could finish two levels in one day so that'd be cool would so sorry I said it would be it would be yeah alright then so Toronto guys see you later thanks for watching see you later bye ciao